Okay guys, we wanted to spend uh, three or four minutes teaching you uh, our goals and fundamentals. Rowing on your goals is one of the first things that we're going to learn and learn to row, so we want to talk about all these different points. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is um, how to sit on the seat correctly. And um, we have this uh, analogy here that we picked up from uh, Kevin Sauer over at the uh, University of Virginia. Um, I want you to imagine that you're wearing a pair of jeans, and if you're wearing a pair of jeans, you have a pair of pockets at the back of the jeans. And to sit on the seat correctly, um, we want to um, imagine that we are sitting in a way that has our pockets facing the wall behind us. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. I'll show you the incorrect way first. Uh, so the first thing is if you're sitting on your pocket, your weight's kind of behind you. So to adjust, you're gonna move and adjust yourself. So you're sitting sort of on the front part of your haunches, the front part of your behind, and the pockets of the jeans are facing directly behind you, okay? And this enables us to get this forward body angle, and it also allows us to keep our weight in our feet so that we're able to um, control ourselves forward and get suitable leverage uh, when, we're, when we're rowing. So, strap your feet in. Second thing is the grip. Um, the best grip for this is to you know, hold the ball handle with the knuckles forward. Um, if you think about uh, a couple of carriages on a train and a train coupling, this is gonna give you the most amount of um, stability in the hands in order to connect the power from your body into the uh, into the wheel and your handle. So we want to hold the ball handle with the knuckles forward. The last thing is how we're pushing up the footboard and the third point of contact up the seat and the handle is the foot stretcher. Um, we want to make sure that we are pushing through the heels. Uh, if you um, if you do a squat, uh, the correct technique for a squat is to push through the heels. By pushing through the heels, you're making sure you're engaging the strong muscles. Uh, if you start trying to push up the balls of the, balls of the feet, um, you're going to engage more here. We want to engage uh, the strongest muscles we have. And so those are the three points. Um, as far as ergometer technique is concerned, this is our release position. You want to make sure that the elbows are pointed out, out towards the uh, sides. You can want to avoid dropping the elbow down here. So this is the correct technique, keeping the elbows out. So this is your release position. And then the sequence of the stroke is you let the arms go out and the body follows. So we're getting that forward body angle early. And then once that's set, you roll up to the catch making sure that at the catch position, your knees are over your ankles. We certainly don't want to over compress, get ourselves into a weak position. So um, keeping that uh, shins vertical idea. And then as we row in the stroke, first thing we want to do is push. Rowing is a pushing sport. So we want to keep the legs pushing down. And then as the legs go, the back opens up and you finish up with the arms. Okay, so just to kind of review, here's your release position, arms away, body swings over, and then you roll up the catch, and take the stroke. A couple of different things you can do to help with the swing, is you can do an arms and body stroke, so an arms and body, and then a full length stroke, this helps, Get your body set. So the idea being that when you finish that technique, you've got the right sequence. And that's ergo fundamental.